my beautiful Sagittarius. Uh, welcome to the meditation channel. Okay. Hi, how are ya? Today we are going to do a reading for you for July 2024. I keep wanting to say 2029. Like I am way in the future, you guys. <laughs> um, how are you? How's your week thus far? I hope you're doing well. I hope that life is treating you well. I have just gotten a calling to do this, so let's gonna do this. I don't normally do readings this way, but sure. If I get a guidance, I follow it. Okay, so discovery, the tower card usually means some kind of disruption is happening, some kind of adjustment. Um, sometimes it can even mean that your world crumbled down and then it's time to rebuild. Um, but I often feel like it's just a sign of change. Some kind of change is happening right now for you. Um, this could be an internal change that needs to happen, or it's a change that you need to begin to implement and you're not wanting to do it. Um, you're could be resisting it a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not getting clear messages about this, but I'm getting some kind of a change is necessary at this time. Once again, it's an outward change that is happening to you or it's an internal change that needs to happen on the outside. Now I'm getting relationship bliss. So this change could be with a relationship. There might be some healing that needs to happen, some adjustment, or maybe there's a change of a new relationship, a new connection. This also relationship could also mean a career. So a new career, a new job, maybe you need to change job. Maybe you need to start a side project. Um, but the end of the day, what it's basically saying that some kind of change needs to happen um, because there is something within you that you've been wanting. There is a desire inside of you that you need to start listening to. Um, it's basically something to do with you being uh, in touch or in tune with who you really are and the reason why you came here on this earth. So the card is the moon, right? Um, and it says here yearning desire. So this is something that has been dormant in your system for a very long time and it's slowly, slowly waking up and you're finally listening to the calling. You're finally paying attention to it. And it's just important that you start taking action. Sitting back is only going to cause more distance towards you and your desire and then eventually it's one of those things is like if you don't take action after a while you're going to forget about it and then it's going to come back again so when this thing kind of comes up it's requiring you to take action now not later not tomorrow but right now so if you can make time for it it's really important that you start doing that um let's see anything else besides Ooh, okay yeah so there's a level of unbalance that is happening a level of it's almost like something just doesn't feel right anymore. Something feels a little bit off within you. Too many cards. <laughs> I'm saying on oh, one of the other signs that the reason why I do the readings like this is because my husband and I always make fun of me because I have butterfingers. So I drop things all the time. <laughs> so that's why I can just do readings like this because eventually a card is going to pop out. Oh yeah, big time balance. Okay. So we got the Justice card, the Chariot and the Knight of Cups. It's hot in here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm definitely getting there's some level of imbalance and this once again could be on the outside and on the inside and you're really feeling this. This is requiring you to mature a little bit. Um, to step out of your comfort zone and to go on a bit of an emotional adventure. I'm feeling for some of you, it's kind of challenging to step forward. You're very comfortable where you're at and you don't really want to make the change because you're afraid of rocking the boat or making things a little bit more complicated or bringing, adding more discomfort to your life. But um, it's something that is necessary because this is just going to amplify over time. It's not something that is going to go away. It's not something that's going to magically disappear because this is something to do with your yearning desire. This is something that you know deep down you really want. Um, and if you just kind of sit there and deny it or lie to yourself, you're just going to be amplifying the, um, the desire really. Oh, three of them came out perfect. 
Me. Stability and efficiency. Taking charge of a situation. <laughs> Ambitious plans. Um, yeah, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. I don't want to brag, but that's literally what I've been saying. <laughs> Extremes in how you save or spend money. So when it comes to money, by the way, yes, it could literally mean money, but it can also mean energy. Money represents energy because that's really what money is. Success that comes from ob objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiveness and healing energy. So once again, when we think about the how you spend and save energy, um, there's an imbalance, an internal imbalance. Once again, I'm getting this imbalance in you. And you need to be more objective about it. Not the, the emotions that are attached to it are based on fear and on past experiences that were not so pleasant, which is why it's so difficult for you to make that transition. There is an emotional attachment that is holding you back. And there's that what if, what if I repeat that experience? What if it's gonna be traumatic again? What if it's gonna be unpleasant again? I don't wanna experience this again. So there's a bit of fear, a bit of resistance behind it. And what they're basically saying is that you have to step back and be a little bit more objective about it and not project the past into the present. I would say if you project the past in the present, the past still owns you. And we don't want that. The past is in the past. Try to leave it behind. It's important to tap into the past to understand the present, such as in this example. So what is in the past that happened that I'm afraid is going to repeat, that I'm afraid is going to happen again? And how can I heal that? How can I resolve that? How can I let that go? Um, it ultimately allows you to have a level of self-awareness. So ultimately, you need to you need to be a little bit more stable and create some level of emotional stability here, because that's why there's this fear of this change. There is an internal emotional instability that is causing that inner conflict. Whew. All right. Well, I hope this made sense. Thank you for joining me today. Um, please leave a comment below and let me know if this made sense to you. <laughs> I always like to hear what you guys have to say. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a magical day.